The news of the proposed national policy on religious and faith-based organizations did not go down well with some pastors, especially in the Pentecostal community. We request that His Excellency the President considers to transfer Honorable Father Simon. <laughs> To another ministry. State Minister for Ethics and Integrity says the proposed policy is not his idea as alleged, but it is a project that has been in the pipeline for some time now. And then to say that let Lokodo go away from ethics and integrity and maybe it will then bring about the death and the disappearance of this policy. No, this is a government policy. And this is why he is in support of the policy. There is a lot of extortion, exploitation, demand, and all those things put together. And then bad guidance, where I'm told some of my pastors tell to their faithful, go and sell everything you have and come, God will bless you. He said the precautionary measure is vital if incidents like the Chiwetere mass murders of 2000 are to be avoided. We want even, for example, to make sure that there is transparency in those who run churches. What you get from the people, then give it back to the people in another form, but not to enrich yourself. On the other hand, Lokodo feels anyone who preaches the word of God should have attained some level of religious education. They can't even read. They just have the, 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 the word of God in their head. And they, they, they go there and say it. This view is shared by Reverend Patrick Indianabo, the outgoing dean of students at Glad Tidings Bible College. We have a curriculum. The curriculum that considers the ministry aspect, we know that we have different aspects that we twist the ministry, the general education component. Reverend Ndianawo says church leaders should be able to account to both God and man in their work. Accountability is very, very important. Uh, only that when I read the policy that is upcoming, it was talking about... Uh, kind of declaring sources of income, whether local or international, and I thought, well, that sounds nice, but declaring to who? However, he states that the adjustments made in their teaching curriculum have led to a drop in the number of people attending the Bible college. We expect people who are pursuing a, a, a certificate in Christian ministry to have a minimum of senior four, and those ones who want to pursue a diploma of theology to have a minimum of senior six. Churches, often run by charismatic preachers claiming to be able to perform miracles, have grown rapidly in many parts of Africa in recent years. If the policy is passed by cabinet, Uganda will join countries like Rwanda that have also effected stringent measures of regulating religious and faith-based organizations and churches. Walter Mwesije, NTV.